Hi guys, welcome to the jungle. Uh, today is the 25th of um, November uh, 2019. Uh, the new, the newly released Ryzen 9 3950X should be available um, on sale um, through different retailers uh, starting today. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to um, to buy it. I've been looking through the, through the internet. I suspect only overclockers.co.uk have this uh, CPU listed at a price of 750 uh, British pounds. Unfortunately, there's a, a click uh, click to buy button, but it doesn't work. There is a add to cart button, but it doesn't work. Uh, so if you get lucky and uh, if you know anything about where uh, to buy the, the Ryzen 9, uh, who's who's listing it for sale? Let me know down in the comments. So we're gonna spread the word out today. Um, a special day, not only because the Ryzen 9 is finally being released. Uh, we are doing the second part of the um, build, the uh, Ryzen 3950 build. In the previous video, you've seen the graphics card that we're gonna use. The graphics card. Here is the GeForce, Asus GeForce 1660 is the mini version, super clocked, uh, you know, overclocked uh, from the factory. And this is a nice CPU, uh, the GPU, well, we're not going to be, uh, you know, like playing games on this. So I suspect that this one's going to be... Um, enough for our needs. Of course, you're familiar with the Corsair SF750 small form factor. Uh, this has all been featured in the previous video. However, today I wanted to show you a couple of uh, bits and pieces that I got, namely the RAM and the motherboard. Um, the RAM. I got the Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 uh, kit. It's 64 gigabyte, two times 32 gigs. So two sticks, each one is 32 gigabytes. The, the speed is the rated speed 3200 megahertz. So it's not the fastest, but you know, 32 megahertz, 3200 megahertz will do um, when it comes to the Ryzen. Um, Ryzen CPU. Uh, as you can see, this is kind of a new um, new thing on the market because uh, it's um, standard size. It's not the dual, uh, it, even though it's a dual capacity, uh, double capacity. It's still the standard size, so they're not double the height. That's a good thing. Uh, this particular RAM is very new on the market. You can't really buy it. Even the Corsair website somehow is short on these um, kits. Uh, sometimes they appear, sometimes they disappear from the website. So it's uh, kind of a strange. Um, I managed to buy them. Uh, and this is the 5.49 version of this kit. So right here we have 64 gigs of DDR4, 3200 megahertz memory for our build. I suspect that uh, it's gonna be enough. Basically, I would like to max out the motherboard that I bought for this particular setup. And the main uh, thing today I'd like to talk about is the motherboard. The motherboard Small form factor, as small as I could uh, do, as, as I could get. Um, hopefully, uh, temperatures are not going to be an issue over here. ROG Strix X570i gaming motherboard. It's a small form factor motherboard. It's got plenty of features. It's got built-in Wi-Fi. It's so small, guys. It's so small i'm telling you look this it, this is my hand it's 17 centimeters by 17 centimeters good io usb 3 usb 2 usb c display port hdmi audio out it's got a heat sink a heat um cooled actively cooled vrms 
it's got a heat sink on top of a PCIe 4 ex uh, ready um, hard drive NVMe hard drive so if you're if you have any devices that support uh, PCI uh, PCIe 4 uh, this motherboard can handle it basically you put one <coughs> drive an NVMe drive at the back over here nice back plate by the way and you put another one under here there's a terminal pad and you can cool uh, the PCIe 4.0 uh, device uh, the drive here we all know they get very very hot so it's extremely small and the Noctua, where's the where's the cooler? I think I I don't have the cooler right now, but you've seen it in the previous video. It does fit. I already um, uh, like matched the cooler with this board, so there is a couple of millimeters of clearance between the heat sinks and the fans and the VRMs and the RAM and stuff. So it will all works fine. I think it will be a great great um fit sure it's got limited limited connectivity it's not the the the, the full size atx am4 uh socket uh, two uh two ram slots this board can accept up to 64 gigabytes of ram that's why we bought the vengeance lpx kit uh to max out this motherboard um USB 3 headers, uh, graphics cards, uh, <laughs> there are no graphics cards that, that can be, um, that can handle uh, PCIe 4.0 at the moment. So I reckon this is gonna be a killer build. Uh, I do have some more stuff for you guys. Uh, I do have some more stuff for you guys, of course. The paste, I think I'm gonna go for the cryonaut. I don't know, I've I got the hydronaut, but thermal thermal grizzly, you all know it's it's one of the best on the market. I don't want to go liquid cooling because I'm gonna be traveling traveling a lot and I am scared basically concerned that the uh, the airport people were will just kick my PC and the water will spill everywhere. So I don't want to do go, I don't want to go water cooling because it's gonna to be too much of a hassle while traveling. I'm gonna go standard air cool style, thermal grizzly to, uh, to do it. I didn't mention the case. The case is gonna be revealed in the next mm, part, in the next episode. However, I suspect you already know what's gonna happen, yeah? You already know what's gonna happen. We've got some hammers over here. I think we're gonna be building our own case. Let me do some more research on the markets. I don't know if this, if such a small form factor will be able to um, fit snugly in a case that is already available on the market. I'd like to remind you, I'm going to be traveling with this computer at all times. I'm going to be, I'm going to be treating this as a laptop with, without the screen and without the keyboard and obviously stuff like that. So I need to make the case or buy a case that is going to be as small, as tightly fit, as, a as tight fit as I can uh, to... Um, basically fit into my bag so i've got some cables over here it's just leds and a reset button or the power button also i have the power button a separate power button that i will will be installing in the case i'm going to be thinking about this this is not expensive stuff um cash drive samsung cash drive this one is 256 gig NVMe PCIe free, unfortunately. However, the board supports PCIe 4, 4.0. Uh, 
Mm, I might upgrade the hard drives to 4.0 in a couple of months or maybe in a couple of years. I don't know. But uh, for starters, I think a cache drive NVMe um, with PCIe Express 3.0 is going to be enough for this particular installation. So guys, thank you very much again for uh, for watching. Let me know what's going to happen with the 3950X, uh, the Ryzen. Today, the 25th, we're uh, supposed to be launching the, the CPU. I didn't manage to buy it yet. I'm still thinking, uh, you know, where to buy it and who's going to list it first. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think about all this. And yeah, comment where to buy the CPU. It's going to benefit all of us. Thank you very much. See you later.